you uh you ever strike somebody out like that before um i have yes and what was your reaction uh, watching that happen uh well i was happy because uh you know i got the strikeout uh, for a second i thought he was going to call a dead ball you know he didn't swing i don't know if he, the umpire saw it but you know what it's uh it's a hard game it really is so I'm not going to sit there and go about it or anything. I assume you didn't see uh, Chapman's splitter live, uh, but uh, uh, have you seen this rep the replay? Have you seen him throw it all just uh, you know this spring? I've seen I've seen him throwing it out, and you know when the, the pitchers are playing catch, and and poor poor Sessa has to try to catch it. <laughs> it turns from a game of catch into a game of fetch, so it must be pretty good. <laughs> uh, you know, a guy like Chap, he can. I'm pretty sure he could do whatever he wants with the baseball. It's just gonna, it probably just took him some time. Guys that throw that hard, you know, they don't really have to have much off speed. Of course, he didn't come up through the minor leagues, but you can just dominate with one pitch. So, you know, Chappie's trying to get better, and that's that's the sign of a really great player. Darren, what kind of a, a challenge do you think it is for a, a catcher, any catcher, whether it be Gary or someone else, to, to deal with, you know, not just you and Chapman, but just all the different looks that, that this pitching staff presents? Yeah, it's... Uh, it's a tough, it's a tough staff to catch. You know, it, if, it, if it's tough to catch, it's got to be tough to hit. So they've, they've assembled quite a talented staff here. Uh, I'm really glad I got to throw to Gary, you know, twice the last two times. Uh, he told me he's never caught a sidearm before. So, you know, it makes sense because the Yankees probably don't draft and, and develop sidearm guys because they got guys that are throwing 100. So uh, I'm really happy to work with Gary. And, and the past two outings, we've, we've, sit down afterwards and talk about, you know, what I'm seeing, what he's seeing, and just kind of learning each other. Um, that's that's the sign of a good, you know, pitcher-catcher relationship. And, and Gary's a pro. He wants to be the best he can be. And, you know, not just Gary. The, the younger guys come up and talk. And we're, we're trying to foster an environment where we can communicate and talk baseball as much as possible here.